Grow with Renee and welcome back to my channel, guys. So, this table here is a result of foraging yesterday and neighborhood love. How about that? We'll call it neighborhood love. So, I went foraging yesterday and there is a particular rosemary bush that I find over in my neighborhood that sort of kind of mimics a spruce tree. You know what I mean? Or a reef. You know what I mean? If you want to make a reef. But it's very tough to, like, squeeze together. Um, you know, it has some beautiful flowers on them. I don't know if you can see them. Let me see if they're still here. Yes. Yeah, see how it gets... See that little white right there? Isn't that nice? So this is what it does. But I'm telling you guys, this the aroma from this is absolutely amazing so I'm going to do my best to try to dry this out I mean I could go the route of the dehydrator but I just literally just like to let mine sit um, but I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and let it dry out in a plastic bag okay and so I went foraging down by the bridge and there's this young lady who happens to have a fig tree that she puts like right in her yard and the fig tree, you know, you can ride by and actually, or walk by and actually just grab a fig. So I asked her about her fig. She saw me. We said hi, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know how we got on a seed exchange. I honestly don't. But she gave me some seeds. So these are pumpkin seeds and watermelon seeds, guys. Now, these are pumpkin and watermelon seeds, I think, that are hand harvested so I they have not been tried yet I'm gonna try them out and let her know that I tried them out her name is Kathleen shout out to Kathleen and um, she gave me those and then she gave me some squash seeds as well I'm not sure what kind of squash it is it just says squash yep it just says squash Okay, and she gave me some flowers, some five spots, because I told her, you know, I wanted to get some some flowers into my garden, so she said she was going to, she had a few, and so I'm going to start these, and I am going to bring her some seeds. I'm not sure what type of seeds to send her. Her garden situation is very, very, very unique where she lives. She has a cliff, and so... um Seeing her and her seeing that she has squash and she has pumpkin and watermelon, I think I might give her something. Oh, Swiss chard. She said she never had Swiss chard before. And that Swiss chard was something that she wanted to grow. So I have some chard that I got here. I don't know if I should start her off on some plain chard. That's my Mexican sunflower. I don't know if I should start her on some plain chard or um, some rainbow chard, but I told her how hardy this this was. I told her how hot, how hardy the Swiss chard was. Yeah, so the rainbow chard. Maybe I'll give her some of these because I can get these from my neighborhood organic market. That's not even in the neighborhood. I'm sorry. It's at the beach. Organic. Yeah, my market. So I'll give her some rainbow chard. She'll love it. Okay. And then I'm thinking about giving her some huckleberry, but I'm not really sure. I want to give her seeds that are big. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like some Malabar spinach. She's never heard of that before. So I'll give her some of those. You know, something that has big... Um, seeds and then I can give her some let me see what did she gave me she gave me squash she gave me watermelon she gave me pumpkin and she gave me flowers so this is kale maybe I'll give her a basil yeah I'll give her some basil this is Thai basil I believe sweet Thai basil yeah so I'll give those to her and I'm going to put them right back in her little, um, I'm going to put them right back in her little container that she gave me mine in. 
And I am going to, um, I am going to, Back up the ones that she gave me because I think that um, that was a very nice gesture. And, you know, she gave me a lot of um, pumpkin. I don't know how pumpkin, I know how pumpkin grows. I know, you know, they grow like squash. And um, the watermelon, you know, they have a little trail. So I don't know, do you put one seed, two seeds? Like how many, I guess, like how many pumpkin? I mean, I don't even, oh, I don't even, what, do I, what am I going to do with pumpkin? Does anybody want any pumpkin seeds? If anybody wants some pumpkin seeds, shoot me an email in the description box. And I will send you some pumpkin seeds okay if anybody likes pumpkin shoot me an email in the description box and I will send you some pumpkin seeds again it was very nice of her to go in her little seed stash and pull out these seeds and um, if you don't forage your neighborhood consider it um, here where I am in sunny San Diego or should I say sunny California we have rosemary growing like crazy we have loquats just on the you know on the curb or lemons or limes where people just plant just for people to forage I mean they're, they're like you know you want lemons sure I have a bunch of lemons help yourself you know what I mean and I like that I like that kind of a garden community so yeah, I foraged for my peach seeds this year. I foraged for my loquat seeds this year. Um, I foraged um, quite a few items this year. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys see the benefits of foraging and sharing seeds with neighbors. Thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And if you don't, somebody told me not to say that. So I apologize if I hurt anybody's feelings. I just want everybody to have a blessed day. Okay? Thank you so much. Remember, do your best, be blessed, and forage. And grow something, too.